And it feels kind of weird showing up on time. I didn't think I got here before Nate this morning. Uh, good morning, William. How are you? Doing good, man. Dude, it feels weird to get up this early. I know. I'm not. I'm. Well, I know you're not used to it. I'm kind of used to it, but uh, I'm surprised you didn't come from the casino. No, no, no. I, I, I cashed in pretty good on that. We got about 50K the other night, so I'm definitely good. Goodness, you got more than I do now. Yeah, yeah. It was a pretty good night. I don't know. If you kind of got that kind of luck, I might have to go with you sometime. I mean, that definitely it was all all luck. I mean, all blackjack, just put everything I had on one number and boom. Hey, that'll make you a change, man. I wonder where Nate is, though. Is he somewhere around here? I hear a truck. Oh, there he is. So first off, hold up. I was here before both of y'all do uh, were. It's called I Live Here. It's just I remembered I put my truck and my trailer in the back of the Quonset from last night after I got home after the race. As y'all can see here behind y'all, we have a... Uh, Two lovely semi trucks leased to us from Case because they want us to load up the new grain cart and the new tractor and at least haul them over there to the John Deere dealership and then they're going to take them from there. Ah, right, how are we looking? Uh, You're looking good. Not on this side. Whoa, 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 whoa. What? I didn't have the brake set. All right. It should be good. Go ahead and pop them ramps back up. We'll be back for you, William. No, I'm coming. It's definitely sad to see this old machine go. Hey, if I keep making it big at the casino, it shouldn't be very long before we have one. Talking about you and your big at the casino, you know what we're doing today, right? Oh, what's that? We taking most of your money you've been winning at the casino to build you a new house. I finally get a house? You're getting a type of house. Oh, okay. Still, it's better than sleeping in the trailer. Right. There you go. Let me All fold right. this ramps up back up for you. There we Here go. Hey, the main park. Yeah. How are we getting back to the farm? Better be ready to work off them donuts you ate this morning. Oh, man. Hey, there ain't nothing better than a good old hike. <sighs> home sweet home at last. Man, that was Ooh. a hike. Yeah, I don't want to do that again for a little bit. No, not at all. I think we got to have a mandatory clean the, sh clean the shop up day because... Yeah, it's pretty rough. Pretty is not the word I would use. Are we cleaning the stuff or just rearranging? Uh, clean it as you take it out of the shed. I will say, William, I don't know about you. I'm thinking about selling that uh, harvester right there. Which one? The gleaner. Oh, yeah, I'd say go for it. Sorry, Nate. Sorry. You're good. Maybe list the John Deere as well. Probably end up just going to do a lot of upgrades. Hey, I wouldn't complain about that. You got a semi truck on that upgrade list too, right? All right, Nate, I got both those John Deere tractors done. What's next? Park them up. Once you have things nice, neat, and organized, do yourself a favor. I would go ahead and uh, start feeding the cattle. I guess we should have thought about this before we cleaned all this equipment up. Yeah, we should have, but hey, better at least get everything cleaned up than to wait for never. All right, there you go. I'm going to go put this tractor up. You go ahead and uh, take that over there to them. And William, find my truck because I've lost it again. How did I lose my truck? You got the gate? Yep, closing the gate now. Hey, do we have anything else to go in the quad sets or are you going to close them up? Go ahead and close everything up. We're good. All right, load up, everybody. Let's get going, and uh, let's go find a spot to build this house at. This is the first location where I've considered putting your uh, house at. What you thinking? I see potential for a uh, massive runoff. I think there's going to be erosion problems. It's kind of, you know, kind of at the bottom of a slope. Hey, this kind of looks like an old creek bed right here. I'm uh, not too keen on having the house flooded. I mean, it's only just, it's only a little bit muddy, okay? Okay, I guess we'll take it to the other location. So this is the other place, kind of like right here in this area. I do plan to turn this, what's left of this field, into CRP land. You like this place a little bit better? Oh, yeah, yeah, I like this a lot better. I mean, the neighbor's kind of questionable, but I think I can get over that. Yeah, I don't know about the neighbor. Yeah, it is what it is. I mean, you're still far enough away from farm. You won't hear any activities or the cows, but you're still close enough. That if you don't show up for work, I can still I can still come over here and get you. Ah, uh, that's why you picked this spot. Well, I'm not buying any more land to put you on. I'll tell you that much. So if this is location, we're definitely gonna have to move a lot of dirt and gravel here. I was on Facebook Marketplace the other day, and there's this farmer down the road that is selling two dump trailers, and I want to go take a look at them. And if we like them, I think we pick up both of them. What do y'all think? I think that sounds great. Yep. I think these are the two pieces of equipment we need to look at. But what do y'all think? We think we buy them? Let's take pull the trigger. All right. Well, I guess I'll go ahead and go pay the man 40 grand for both of them. All right, boys, y'all ready? Yep. Yep. 
I'll let y'all go in front and I'll kind of stay behind with the flashers. All right, boys, let's go ahead and load up, get these tractors shut off. Let's head on over to the home dealership. Wait, you said home dealership? Yeah. Are we building a house? No, we're buying you a mobile home. Oh, so just a trailer upgrade. Pretty much, yeah. Listen, this one comes with, a, you're actually getting a seven to tank quid. I wouldn't complain too much about her. A real bathroom? All right, we're good. Yeah. You can finally stop using the barn. What color are you want? Yeah, I do like blue, but the blues, they, they don't seem very appealing here. I mean, this one's got some weird funky porch thing on it. This is a double wide right here. This is half of a house. Double wide would be nice, but I don't think I need that much. Why don't you look at something like this right here or like red? I'm thinking like something like this side right here should do you good. This gray one right here with the porch on it. Pretty nice. This one's just set up like they all look like. So this one right here is how this, they will all end up turning out looking like when we're done. Oh yeah, because you got to build all the other stuff around it. Yeah, I could do that. So, all right, we'll get you this trailer right here. And then there's something very important you have to pick out. What size septum tank do you want? Might as well go with this big plastic one. Let's go inside and uh, get some numbers written out and uh, get a check signed over. All right, let's go. Should I be worried about the DOT? Uh, I think you're fine. Go ahead and start moving this stuff out of the way. How big of a yardy thing we go for him, bud? I mean, it, it looks like you're making me a circle track right now. Well, I mean, I got to put us a nice little place to work at. Yeah, this will look pretty good. I could probably fit about, what, six, seven project cars back there? Now you're talking. Thinking right about here. How deep is that? I mean, you're getting there. Maybe, maybe one more. We'll take a little bit of this top ground that we had put over here because it's a little bit more rocky. And I'm going to kind of fill this back in just a tad bit and put a little bit of a gravel layer down now. Yeah, why don't y'all boys get in there and kind of smooth it out a little bit. Hey, William. Yeah. I think we should have shovels for this. Why didn't y'all take shovels down there? You said just get in the hole. All right, get it attached, boys. All right, my side's good. Let's go ahead and raise it up. All right, so let's start moving over here. All right, a little bit towards you, a little bit towards you. William, try to guide it down. It's getting a little bit late. We need to go ahead and head over and go get the house so we can start plumbing. Hey, driver. Yeah, yeah. Do me a favor. Me and William's going to go pick up the house. Go ahead and start moving the dirt and stuff like that and kind of making a little bit of like a pad. Yep, I can do that. I wonder how easy this thing is to use. Nate should not have left me unsupervised in this equipment. What? Why? I mean, you said just keep leveling the area and y'all took quite a while. So I just made a big pile. Well, driver, i give you some bad news for you. Okay, what's that? I'm we not need fired. To go home and go to bed. Ooh, I was going to say, I'm not fired again, am I? <laughs> no, not yet. Uh, but we are going to go home for the day. So that means you got to sleep in your trailer again. You know what? I've been doing it a while. One more day is okay. All right, let's, let's head back, get a fresh start in the morning, and get this trailer put up and make it look pretty. Oh, good morning. Hey, driver. Good morning, buddy. Yeah. Check this out. Where, where is he? <laughs> oh, that is what awesome. What are you doing? Don't, hey, don't careful, you... careful. Don't hit the trailer. I'm trying not to. Well, when I get my hands on you, now, now all we lacking is we got to get the gravel pad put down. So once we get the gravel pad. <laughs> hey, William, you're right. That is pretty fun. <laughs> That's what I'm saying. Yeah, I can go ahead and take that pile that I made yesterday and kind of level that out a little bit better. Yeah, go ahead and do that. And uh, we'll go ahead and get this put up there. And for now we get to do the part that I thank God paid somebody else to do the plumbing. Are they coming today or? Oh yeah, today. They'll be here in five, ten minutes. All right, and that should be the last of the sod, boys. It is looking really nice, man. I cannot believe that uh, you've helped me get this place. Thank you very much, dude. Oh, you're welcome. We got you a nice little carport put over there in case you want to put some project cars and stuff like that in it. You got your main house now to live in. Now I uh, I guess I'm going to have to go tell the... Uh... The boss, the other boss that uh, I'm not going to be able to haul cars for him anymore. Yeah, I guess not. All right. So I fear if we buy another one, we can have it put right there by noon tomorrow. Uh, yep. Nope. Nope. See y'all. Not doing that. Why? Uh, my back hurts. Not doing it. Nope.